Hello everyone, my name is Liz and today I'm just dropping by just to share an inspiring story of a young man who actually won the Fields Medal 2022 and if you don't know what Fields Medal is, it is only the highest recognition that can be awarded to someone who has actually made a major breakthrough in the world of mathematics and it is only uh, being awarded once every four years under the age of 40 and there's just a young man who actually he wasn't good at math at first but his transition is really inspiring i don't know if you will also um, get inspired but i have written a full story i've written a blog about him that once you have read it everything it will sink into your mind and for those math enthusiasts like me it is some kind of a booster for those who are really seeking a greener pasture in the world of mathematics. So I hope you you will read it. You can top the description of this video and uh, click the link of my blog. But first, let's talk about the randomness of life because this guy actually loves combinatorics, loves dealing with random events in his life and i would like to start dealing with this um talking about the randomness of life uh, you see this deck of cards that i have in my hand this would best represents how randomness of life is through this object i hope that you're all doing great and you're all safe watching this life isn't perfect and i'm pretty certain that at some point in our lives we all got fucked up we all made a mess and that's part of life. But have you ever thought that those things that we call mess, what if they are destined to occur? What if, just like this piece of cards and the magician will tell you, if I shuffle this uh, deck of cards and throw them on top of the table, it would actually land in a different positions. Some would be facing up and others will be facing down. And the magician will tell you that the cards landed the way it's supposed to be that it would have random positions right so i won't do any magic trick here like Dustin develop does nor Shinley does i don't know if you have heard of them but they are really an amazing magician most especially uh Dustin Sabella because he always relates everything that he do to inspire other people and he loves helping people now let's imagine that each piece of this card represents every random moment in your life it can either be good or bad it could be a precious memory of someone that you love embedded in your brain it could be a break up with your ex the day you pass your licensure exam it could be the dull moment that you were shedding tears because your mom scolded you or it could be your mom um, scolded you for not making it to the top 10 the very moment that he proposed to you and you said yes or it can be the amazing moment that you always want to live at like winning the most prestigious awards you have never expected anything in the past those events serve a purpose and at that moment you didn't see it nor realize it because you were at the peak of your emotions until it became a moment in the past same as this piece of car though some would have landed face up or down on top of the table once you throw it but the magician will always tell you that it landed the way it's supposed to be now i won't do or execute any magic trick here like what dustin tabella does or Shinla does i don't know if you have heard of them but they are truly an amazing magician and one of the i love is dustin tabella will actually demonstrate it or connect everything he do with his actual life and inspire a lot of people and he loves helping other people so you might want to check that out it's another story for you to check and that would actually um inspire you at some point 
Well, God doesn't play dice to give you a chance to redo everything that occurs, neither can you run back in time to redo the past and start with a different path, like in Run Lola Run. I don't know if you have heard of it, but it's, it's an old game. But you have experienced random things that might make you think that you have various options to choose from, just like a feeling of regret, I should have done this, I should have chosen that, then I will never have this, just something like that. But it all serves a purpose. But whatever you end up picking on, like you choosing whether event A or event B, that will give you different scenarios or circumstances that will come after it. For instance, event A will give you this and event B will give you the opposite. Just like if you are a teenager and your crush actually asks you to go and live with him and you're like in a dilemma. Oh, my mom always called me, I should go with my boyfriend or... It's like you were for a moment you were in a dilemma because you are have options to choose from but don't do that okay scientists say that our universe is governed largely by randomness so many variables and factors factors these are just like ingredients in the mathematics just like what mathematics have in a world that isn't ruled by order or predictability we're obliged to know how to handle chaos ourselves in the process but we must do so without losing ourselves in the process the challenge here is to expect the unexpected let's deal with uncertainty and expect the unexpected as the world continues to evolve it may be easier said than done but let's all remember our purpose and always remind ourselves of our priorities and pretty sure we'll always find our inner strength and ingenuity to act in no time. That reminds me of lines from the movie Fate of the Furious. I know that majority of you have seen it already. Do you remember the scene when Dom and Cypher were actually on the plane and Cypher really wanted to shoot Elena at that time and Dom was thinking if he would shoot Cypher instead but Cypher said something about the actions of the choice here that is actually true. She just used it in the movie. Cypher said that there are only two actions of choice theory that concerns yourself with or that need that you need to concern yourself with and one of those is that one one thing that we can control is our behavior so i'm simply saying that in order for us to thrive in uncertain situations we must take full control of everything that is under or that we have power to control like decisions mental approaches and actions and another thing is to take the risk be ready to take the risk and last and most importantly awaken your skills learn new skills devise mental strategies and put it all together explore your creativity and you would have a meaningful experience to combat with whatever the unexpected situations will bring you and the reason why I brought this up, as I told you in the beginning of this video, because I would like to share something I want to share to the world, an inspiring story of a young man who nailed it perfectly and we can learn from him. He got famous when he was awarded with the Fields Medal 2022, last July 5, at International Congress of Mathematicians. I watched his video, listened to his story, and I can see how it dealt with what we call the randomness of life and use the situation to work in favor of him. The road he went through wasn't perfect as well, but he nailed it. And now he has done major breakthroughs that helped the humanity and still doing so in the world of mathematics. I found a gemstone in his personality and I can somehow see myself in him at some point. His love for poetry wandered before he even realized that he is destined to be a mathematician. And that made me even think about everything, everything he went through.
and although you drop out in high school, received low marks in math and got rejected by most school except for one American school. Now, you will find it out in the blog. Then there he met a new professor, inspired him, and little did he know that he would become the best mathematician too. He was able to draw the bridge between algebraic geometry to combinatorics. Well, combinatorics is also something that I love, areas, are areas of mathematics that I also love, and I have been doing some videos about it. And statistics, random events are also related with combinatorics. He's very attentive to details um, in my analysis. When he said in his video that he loves wandering around his way from Princeton University, where he's current, he is currently teaching at a mathematics department, he loves observing everything that comes on his way, and he's very observant, very keen observer. Whether it's just a pair of frogs or just a fox, anything hiding under the uh, behind leaves or beneath the bushes you will find more about it this is just a part of his normal life just like us and he loves observing every fleeting moment and he seems to be enjoying it despite his busy schedules and that personality of him actually helped him land the most prestigious award in the world of mathematics i hope you read you will read my blog and i'm also hoping that you will get inspired too most especially to my fellow math enthusiasts well i'm not a genius i'm not i could not uh consider myself as one of the genius in mathematics my classmate knows that i do not excel in math i'm just average but might be a late bloomer so i work on my weaknesses i studied this part or areas of mathematics that I feel and I think that I need to update my knowledge base or I think I'm not good at and it seems to be um, it's pretty processing quite well my brain will save it for the next video have a great day and enjoy